Okay, so today I've got some new K-Beauty favorites and one K-Beauty unfavorite, loser, one K-Beauty product that I just didn't work. This one is actually a favorite. So I don't really try or use peeling gel cleanser type products. Uh, generally, I find them kind of gimmicky, like they usually have cellulose and it feels like skin is being exfoliated, but it really isn't. But this one actually was one I liked. I've tried quite a few of them. I'm trying to remember which ones in the past, but anyway, whatever. Just really haven't been impressed with them. But this one actually from Casa RX is new and it's really enjoyable. And it actually does feel like a very, very gentle physical exfoliation. Works well at the end of a routine. Maybe do it once or twice a week. Um, it does have lavender extract. So keep that in mind. Lavender extract is not nearly as irritating as lavender oil is, and lavender extract generally might have a very, very light, but usually unnoticeable scent to it. So unless your skin is very sensitive, uh, it's probably not a concern. But this one, I really just like using a couple times a week after cleansing. It's been really quite nice and worth checking out. Um, next up, we've got Claire's. So they have their Rich Moist Soothing Serum. That's been around for a while. However, this new version is unscented and it's really nice on your skin. It feels really nice and light, hydrating, but not like greasy or oily at all. Um, it's got quite an interesting ingredient list. So this new version, it does have some extracts, grapefruit extract in it, which again, just like the lavender extract, grapefruit extract, not nearly as irritating as grapefruit oil. Generally, if it has uh, a scent, it might be so light, it might not be noticeable, but this one's really nice. We've got water, we've got licorice root extract, Centella asiatica, arginine, uh, vitamin E, and then we've got some broccoli, uh, turnip, cabbage, carrot, tomato. Tomato is great for your skin because it contains uh, like lycopene, which is a great uh, free radical fighter. So this one is really nice and works really nicely. It doesn't make your skin look or feel greasy after you put it on really happy with it. I got really excited about it and I ordered a second one without really even realizing I was so excited. I just added another one to my order. I don't know. Sometimes that happens to me. Okay, next up. This is a brand I really hadn't tried much until I picked up a cleanser from them and was really happy with it. So I picked up this, which is their Centella Serum, which uh, is a really nice ingredient list. Centella Asiatica, X Water, Centella Asiatica Extract, Urea, Adenosine, uh, Matocaside Ceramides, uh, and it, this one's also really quite nice. I love the packaging of it. Hang on, I'm trying to get more of it out. I'm having a little bit of a pump issue, but there we go. Uh, really nice, like, gel texture to it. Absorbs really nicely. Works well under sunscreen or moisturizer. So I'm really quite happy with it. Well, we're checking out. Trying not to cover up the label because I know that's a pet peeve of some people. Sorry, I got my hair colored today. That's why it has a couple like purple streaks. Hopefully when you see me tomorrow, the purple streaks won't be there. Okay, next up we've got the Hygie Vegan Sun Cream, which uh, it has no fragrance. Uh, this is a reformulation. I believe their original one was made by one of the irresponsible sunscreen manufacturers. But this one's really nice. We've got several more filters in here. No fragrance. It does have some alcohol in it but it applies pretty nicely to skin. No white cast, doesn't look greasy or oily. We tested it out now a few days in a row without any redness or anything like that. So it seems to be doing a nice job. So worth checking out. And last up but not least, we've got the B-Lab Sika Cleanser Barrier. Uh, which is a nice gel cleanser, really nice product, uh, no fragrance in it. This one's got a lot of Sika, Centella Asiatica extract, Galantlin, which is also nice, uh, a little bit of tea tree extract, and really nice gentle, but it seems to do a pretty good job removing most sunscreen, makeup, things like that. Has a nice light lather. Really happy with this one, as well as their matcha cleanser. They're like kind of sister, brother, sister products. And then uh, one other new family of products that I'll be reviewing soon is the Iliun uh, Ceramide Dermaline, which has a lotion, a cleanser, and a moisturizer. No fragrance. Uh, some ceramides in there, which are all quite nice. And the loser product is, sadly, because 
it's just the way my skin reacted to it. I don't actually think this product is bad. I think my skin just hated it. That's the uh, Neogents, what do they call it? Ultra Light Day Tinted Sunscreen, which uh, it's one of those sunscreens that has like a kind of fleshy tint to it. So when you apply it, it doesn't necessarily look like a white cast, more of like a tone up type product. Uh, but if you have a deeper skin tone, it'll probably be more noticeable. I actually didn't mind using it. It feels nice on the skin. It lasts pretty much nicely throughout the day. Reapplication was fairly easy, pretty affordable, mineral, physical sunscreen. My skin just did not like it. I don't know. Sometimes there's certain products. And in terms of like acneogenic or pore clogging ingredients, there really aren't. There's a, I mean, a few, but nothing real noticeable. So I don't know why my skin just freaked out when I used it, I think four days straight. That was it. Probably scared to touch it again, but I don't, sometimes it just happens. I don't know why. That's the mystery of skincare. And I think that's what fascinates me about it is, you know what? 10 other people could probably use it without any issues. And then me, who doesn't freak out with most things, just freaks out. So, and so I freaked out. Anyway, there we go. So those are some new K-Beauty favorites. Uh, tomorrow I'll be doing, uh, ranking all of my K-Beauty vitamin C serums one through, I think, 15. Or one through 820, I don't know. So check that out tomorrow. Uh, anyway, I'm interested in hearing from you guys. If you've tried anything new, any new K-Beauty, new beauty, new skincare products, leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Okay, thank you so much.